Hi guys, this is the Tech Girl 007 in here. I hope you're all doing well. Right, so I have already shown you how to create a Gmail account for your channel. As well as walked you through a simple step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create your own YouTube channel and then be able to upload your own videos. But, but, but... Have I shown you how to optimize your channel to get the best results possible that I think many people are unaware of and have them left out as a result of their lack of knowledge. So in this video I will show you some settings that you need to improve in order to easily be recommended by the YouTube algorithm alongside other videos as well as make your workflow significantly easier as you progress on your YouTube journey. So you don't have to repeat yourself every time you post a video. By the way, there will be some links on the description box below related to YouTube. So be sure to check them out and let's get started with this one. But before I forget, if you are interested in YouTube related videos such as editing tutorials, YouTube tips, tricks and tech gear reviews that will support you in the long run, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon to be the first one to be notified on our next video. So first things first, go to YouTube studio then find the settings from the bottom of the page. Let's change our channel's default unit so when you go to the analytics you're shown the currency sign for the country you're living in and not the dollar sign which is obviously the default. So let's go and I'll show you what I mean. Before in the analytics you were shown the earnings and dollars but now since I have changed it you can see that it's shown in pounds now so it's easier for me instead of converting the dollar to pound every time I wanted to know how much I earned on YouTube. So I've already shown you the features eligibility on the video where I have guided you on how to actually create a YouTube account. If you haven't enabled this, I highly recommend you go and watch that video which you'll find on the cards above and on the description box below to basically allow you to be able to upload videos longer than 15 minutes, add custom thumbnails, go live and also appeal content ID claims. Right, so now comes the advanced settings. And the channel tab which you don't have to do much on but is very important to choose the option specific to your uploads. This is fairly new to YouTube and you have to say whether or not your videos are made for kids. And in this case it's not so I would select no but if your videos are then you should select yes. Or if only certain are made for kids then select the third option so you can specify this on each video you upload. And then you have to link your Google Ads account which I'm not going to go through in this video but if you want me to make a tutorial on it then leave them on the comments below so I know you want it as that's a whole video on its own. And if you're wondering why my branding tab is missing, don't worry as it's not. It's there somewhere but you can't see it. Don't forget though, my next video will be on that. Right, so the third option is showing or hiding the number of subscribers which I would leave up to you whether you want to show it or not. That's completely your choice. Moving on from there, we have the basics tab. Though it says basic, but in it, it has hidden some crucial features that you need to activate to potentially reach more users. And in here, there are some keywords which is not visible to viewers, but has a major impact on when your niche is searched on YouTube or Google. So in here, you want to add as many keywords as it can take related to what you do on your channel. So when people search for them, you will be in the first few to show up on the list of the results. 
so as you can see I have my channel's name what are the things I do and so on so you basically put all the keywords that are actually related to your channel so then you can easily be found when someone is searching for that topic and as an example since my channel is about helping people with YouTube my keywords are all to do with obviously YouTube and how to be YouTubing basically so let's move on to the next step which is upload defaults I wouldn't bother filling in the title and I don't know why they have included that there to be honest unless you're going to title all your videos the same then you have the description which is something that you need to pay attention to and you may need to change some bits with each video upload but let me tell you what kind of information you need to put in there right so first i have the link to my shorts videos which i want to get people to watch shorts are the new tiktok style videos and guess what if you're new i would suggest uploading more shorts as it will gain you more views and subscribers hence it will increase the chances of you getting your channel monetized as soon as i have a video on how you could edit short videos on the description box below or grab it from the cards above right so then i have links to my equipment which i use and these are the affiliate links you can keep this as it is as you will need it in every video but also keep adding to the list as you get more products and review them then i have what this video covers which i tend to leave blank as i fill in this section upon each video upload of course then i have my playlist which is pretty self-explanatory and yes you guessed it right last but not least and here i have my social media links right at the bottom the purpose for this being at the end is that if anyone is searching for my social media they will take their time of course and it will be a good idea to go through all of the preceding information and see if there's any possible interest in the links above the social media the next thing is this tab visibility i usually tend to keep it as public but if you are someone that schedules your videos and batch upload then you need to keep this private so that it can be visible at the time you set it to for each individual video for the tags this is also default you don't have to have as many as it allows you to but a few should be enough and the reason is that when you put tags related to your channel's niche every time someone is looking for a video that you upload more of in that niche then you have the potential to show up on the list due to your tags repetition on each videos right so and the permissions tab is where you give authority to your team members such as your managers etc however we're not going to do that as this is a whole new topic on its own thereafter we have the community tab here you have some defaults and there are some settings that you can change to manage how you respond to comments first you can keep all comments as it is so anyone can comment anything that they want and it won't be reviewed or anything or otherwise you can hold any potentially inappropriate chat messages for review or you can set all comments to be reviewed which can be time consuming and last but not least you could disable them all together I would usually set it to hold potentially inappropriate chat messages for review as it would be time consuming to go through all the messages every time someone comments for you to amend its status. Under the automated filter you have the moderator that you can add who can actually help you with your channel. Let's move on to the next one and here you can add links of the YouTube channels for whom you approve. 
meaning that comments from these users are automatically published and won't be filtered for block links, block words, or potentially inappropriate content. Under hidden users, and this is a bit tricky, and here you can add the name of the users if they comment inappropriately such as, and this is only an example. If you go to a comment and if you see any that you don't like then you right click on it and select hide user then uh, that user would be added to this list you have the option to add some words that will not be allowed on your channel comments closely matching these words will be held for review and any live chat matches these words will also be blocked last but not least if you select this option new comments with hashtags and urls will be held for review as well as the live chat messages with urls will be blocked too however this setting does not apply to you the moderator or the approved users right so i'm going to wrap up this video in here i hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe like and share it and i shall see you on my next video take care bye